My mom usually always provides for me the sanitary towels, but sometimes he, she had challenges because we are we are three kids and I'm the only girl and she needs to provide for all of us three and it is really tough for her to provide food, shelter and rent. Mwenye Pascal alianza kuona period zake alikuja ni msichana alikuja akanieleza ikakuwa na challenge kidogo ya kupata hizo pads kwa sababu unaweza pata umekuja na mbili na ameanza na una hiyo pesa kuna hiyo pads ni feel vibaya sana nikakuwa niko guilty you ni msichana wa kipeke na ni kama anaona kama sitaweza ta as girls, we usually not come to school regularly because sometimes we have menses and it's really hard for our parents to get money to buy for us our sanitary towels. When there is a class absenteeism, it really becomes difficult because you will have to find time to teach those children who are not in class. So, and you are working on the syllabus and the content coverage, so you'll also realize that you have really wasted time on the same same. I think that you should have covered in a lesson. Before, a good number of my girls would miss school. And that one, you know, they would also miss the, to cover their syllabus. But now that they're in school because of the provision of the sanitary pads, it makes them now utilize their learning time and even the contact with the teachers. It, it has also minimized absenteeism. The Bethel Network Schools program aims at empowering girls and boys aged between 9 and 15 years by training them on life skills education, puberty management and menstrual hygiene management. In the process of teaching them the education, we give the girls uh, sanitary pads to cover them a whole year. We also give them panties, a booklet which has all kinds of information on matters of puberty that explains the changes and also helps them understand what they're going to. Bethel has really helped us because you can find maybe some of us, their parents do not provide for them those sanitary towels. They usually come with sanitary towels, some booklets and clean panties. My favorite part of that book was health education. Uh, the program usually happens in two phases. For the first phase, we have to educate the children on uh, the life skills, the puberty, and the menstrual health management. So for this, we must have qualified nurses who are approved by the Ministry of Health. They must have a practicing license. So we usually have a training for these nurses that goes uh, for up to five days, where they are taught on how to present themselves in front of the children, how to use the, the teaching aids, that we provide to them. Some of the topics that we do include self-awareness and uh, self-esteem, those are my favorite, and then goal setting. The reason why I love this because I understand if somebody is able to understand themselves better, if they're able to know themselves, understand how they do things and or why they do things, the impact of their past experiences in life, they are able to know how to go about the future. When we went through the classes we went by Bethel, I learned as a girl that when you have menses, it should not hinder you from pursuing your goal. You should go for it. The nurses from Bethel have helped us to address some of the issues that the girls raise, which need to be approached from the medical point of view. Exactly. As teachers, we may not have deeper answers to some of these issues that the girls raise, mm -hmm. but the nurses have really been very helpful in handling, especially what needs to be handled from the medical point of view. When Bethel comes, they normally come with a, a trained nurse who normally disseminates the information to the learners. And from our side as a school, we feel this is the best person because the person is a trained personnel who knows the problems that adolescents face, like you have those ones with the period pains and other problems that they get when they are, they are reaching those ages of a puberty. So the health personnel is able to give them the, the right advice. If you look at our learners, you find them, they are just mentally challenged. But physically, they are just growing as a normal, a normal kid. So when this program came, that they are also taught that they should not allow anybody to touch their, physical, their, their private parts. Most of them, in fact, they have developed that attitude of even refusing 
because before they will just enjoy enjoy uh, what is happening maybe or maybe somebody touching them but nowadays at least they understand the number one thing that was achieved apart from pupil retention in class these kids became assertive confidence was seen with assertiveness and the confidence the kids were able to do very well the availability of the sanitary tiles in this school has really improved the performance of girls. We have statistics, the KCP results, where for the last uh, three years, the performance of girls has been better than boys by far. And it, it used to be the vice versa. Boys used to be very many in classes. Our enrollment nowadays, girls are more. They don't, even in our registers, girls don't miss classes. As a head teacher or as an administrator of the school, I'm very happy. At least my mind is settled. Uh, my mind is settled knowing that 100% of my girls will be in school. It was a burden to our parents to buy for us sanitary tiles, but now we are really happy for the Bethel program and we're really grateful. I would like to tell them thank you because they have taught us a lot that our teachers haven't taught us and you have got to learn more about them and, you, and we request that they come back again. And also thank you for the pads. So Bethel, I thank you very much because you have supported me with our children. Sabu sisi kama ni wazazi bati nyinyi pia mkiwa nao kando huko mnaongelesha na baada hata mnawapatia sapu mnawapatia usaidizi kama taulo za hedhi na mambo kama hiyo kama hayo mengine I'm really encouraging you as uh, the, the organization uh, to continue doing the same job because uh, you are really helping us as parents. Right now you'll find that the word is not like the word which was in the past. Things have changed. They are coming across a lot of education and when they get people who can, uh, can enlighten them in the correct way, actually we are going to get good, nice people in the future. So um, in, I'm encouraging you not to give up but to continue with the work you are doing. Actually you are doing a great job and uh, may God bless you so much.